going out for a ride and you don't want to get caught out, stranded or have to cut your ride short, then watch this video to find out what to bring with you from running errands, to commuting, to riding your road bike and touring. When I started I knew I might get a puncture and I should bring things to fix that, so I did. Not that I knew how to use them, but I had them. So starting with running errands, um, when I'm around my neighbourhood and I'm just you know, a few kilometres from home, I generally just bring my lock, I don't bring much else um, because if I get a flat or something goes wrong I'm happy to push my bike home for a couple of kilometres and generally on such short rides not much happens anyway. So running errands, just hop on my bike and go. Next when I go for a ride on my road bike, so I usually go for rides anywhere from two to five or more hours depending on how, how long the ride is. And generally for those rides though, I do bring the same thing. And when I first started um, going out on my road bike, or going for longer rides actually, um, I brought my D-Lock for my first club ride and um, bless the guys on the ride, they were so kind to me. Uh, nobody said a word um, and I could really have done without the extra weight. So live and learn. You don't need to bring a D-Lock on a club ride. There's plenty of people to look after your bike if you have to go to the toilet. So um, learn from my mistake, please. Um, but I started off with this saddle bag when I first started riding my road bike and now I'm down to this. So I'll explain to you how I was able to reduce it by so much. To start with, uh, you need things to repair your puncture. So you need tire levers to get the uh, tire off. You need a spare inner tube to replace the damaged one. Um, I also bring a glueless patch kit in case I was so unfortunate to get more than one puncture. Nathan, he brings two inner tubes, but he also has bigger pockets than I do, so it's easier for him. Um, and then of course, something to pump the tire back up. So this is a hand pump, and last week I attempted to um, reduce that down to the CO2 cartridge, because it's smaller. Um, unfortunately, I blew up the canister and was left stranded, so I learned two things. One, you should bring two canisters in case you get more than one puncture or you blow up the first one. And also a lot of people told me they bring the hand pump and they use the CO2 to get up to the higher PSI at the uh, end of pumping up their tire. So I'm not sure what I'll do in the future about the CO2, but I think I'll stick with the hand pump for the nearer future till I perfect my uh, CO2 skills. Um, along with that, I bring a multi-tool. So that's Nathan's multi-tool and that's mine. So just small little ones with some Allen keys. Uh, on them, so just to tighten things that get loose on your bike. The things I bring, somewhat more optional or dependent on weather, is uh, this is my packable rain jacket you've probably seen me wear, especially in um, the Pyrenees. And I bring this, and I wore it last week actually, I got cold standing still on the side of the road changing my tire, and it just packs up really small and uh, goes in my jersey pocket. So I love that rain jacket, and I bring it if, and there's very often thread of rain here in the UK. Um, I also bring a little emergency, so I generally fuel my rides with actual real food. But I bring an emergency gel pack and an emergency caffeine tablet that goes in your water. And I've never had to use this, I actually should check the expiry date, it's probably pretty old. But anyway, just in case I misjudge, um, I have a little bit of spare fuel. And I have this little sample, sample of chamois cream, and so although I don't use chamois cream, just on the off chance the day comes, this little sample pack is the perfect size, fits in my saddle bag, so I bring that. And lastly, oh well, no, two more things, sorry. My lip balm, protect your lips from the wind, and a handkerchief or um, Kleenex because um, my nose runs when I exert myself a lot if it's under 20 degrees. So my nose runs a lot, especially at this time of year, it's horrific. So I always bring a handkerchief with me, well I try to always bring one, and uh, I bring a modium. So this is probably special to me, but I do have a bowel disease. I am healthy now, I have no symptoms. I carry around Imodium with me in pretty much all my bags and wallets and they're tucked away everywhere. I was able to switch from this to this. I got a more packable rain jacket, it was one of the reasons. I've reduced what I bring and I use my jersey pockets a lot more. So um, the pump I put in my jersey pocket um, in this, I generally have the um, levers, the patch tool, my inner tube, and the multi-tool, um, along with the emergency caffeine and my emergency chamois cream. So all of that fits nicely into my saddle bag. Everything else goes in my jersey pockets. So that is one of the main changes I made after I got the more packable rain jacket, which allows me to have a much smaller saddle bag, which I, I'm really happy with. When you're touring, you're further from home, you're in places you don't know as well, um, and in Canada we were in more remote places, so we had to be a little bit more independent, so we brought things to allow us to be more independent. 
Um, to start off with, we brought this uh, Topic Alien 2 or Alien 3 or something. Uh, I'll put all the links below to some of these things that we use. But this Alien Multi-Tool, which is ginormous and has a bajillion different size wrenches. Uh, it has a chain breaker. It has all the different size Allen keys you could imagine. Um, and it has tools to cut things, so if you need to cut wires, I guess. Um, I believe there's a bottle opener in there. Yeah, bottle opener. Um, so yeah, a multi-tool that does a lot of things, and it comes apart in half uh, to make it easier to use. I actually just looked at it a little closer, and I think these are actually tire levers, which is quite interesting, and never noticed it before. So we use that quite a few times in Canada, very handy. Um, and a lot of bike tours have that one. If you're into touring, you've probably heard of it. Uh, we also use this hand pump, so instead of, instead of that, we bring this. So I wouldn't bring this on my road bike, but it is phenomenal. Uh, it's also a to Topeak. This is not sponsored by Topeak in any way. <laughs> well, I wish. Anyway, it um, is a mini micro floor pump. So it has this little thing you can put down and, and put your foot on to hold it steady um, as you pump. So a lot more easy to use than a pure hand pump. And it even has a little gauge in it, a pressure gauge, which is very handy to have uh, pumping up your tire in the middle of nowhere. It's pressure and Schrader friendly, so we can help other people um, if they have different valves than we do. Um, very handy, so absolutely worth uh, the bigger size when you're touring, 100% recommend that. It came in very handy. Um, we had three flats total across Canada. We also brought with us, we didn't need them, but spare spokes on the off chance we should have spoke problems. And uh, we brought with us the uh, tool to tighten them as well. It's in here somewhere. Um, let's see. Oh, yep, there it is. So we have the tool to tighten it. And as you can see, I have this uh, dry bag that has a little bit of a hole in it. But that's what I use to keep all the tools together and organized. Um, keep them. And then uh, we had spare chain links, a mini uh, roll of duct tape. Um, and duct tape, you know, as you know, it's handy for many things. And when I was in Devon, it saved me when my oh, tent, my tent pole broke and I taped the tent back together with it. So came in handy. We had some zip ties and we had also this stuff called Suji or Sugi. Um, I'll put a link below. It's this like putty that allows you to bond things together. So we had that in case something should break, we could sort of glue it back together as, as well. We had um, super glue. So that was sort of our kit in Canada, our MacGyver kit, should anything break, and we were very fortunate and nothing majorly went wrong. So welcome to the bike room. Um, perhaps once I've done a spring clean, I'll give you a little mini tour of our bike room. Um, but anyway, we've talked about what I bring when I go on a ride on my road bike and what I bring when I go bike touring. And this is my commuter uh, as well as my touring bike. And so when I go uh, commuting to work, I just leave everything in this bag. I use the same bag for commuting every day and it just saves some fat in the morning. Everything just stays in here. Um, so uh, it has a little trunk. And in my trunk, I carry my multi-tool, same one I use um, on the weekend, so I just pull this out on the weekend. And this little bag of goodies. So it contains a spare inner tube, my tire levers, and a patch kit. So that's always in there. And when I commute, because I'm not worried about weight uh, and this fits in my trunk, I bring the same pump I use when I'm drawing. And uh, this is a, the old rain jacket I used to use that isn't as packable as the one I have now. So uh, I'll just keep that in the trunk because you never know. Um, and yeah, so that is everything. I keep some lip balm in there as well and a little bike lock. Um, our compound at work is secure, so um, I don't need a proper lock, but I do use that one. So that is what I bring when I commute. So that's what I bring with me on my rides. Hopefully you found that helpful and you can learn from my mistakes. And uh, if you have any tips or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I always like to uh, know what people bring with them and why and uh, learn new things. So please comment below and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.